Joe Biden's been in government forever. Let me ask you a question on this, Peter Schweitzer. Did the communist Chinese regime make it part of their mission to invest in the Biden family, knowing full well that Joe Biden was a longtime career politician with lots of influence? I think there's no question, Mark. Uh, and look, uh, we spent more than a year investigating red-handed, uh, and one of the most startling things we uncovered is the simple fact that the Biden family, while he was vice president of the United States and continuing when he became president, uh, received some $31 million from Chinese uh, individuals who are linked to the highest levels of Chinese intelligence. $31 million. Whoa. Yep. Yep. $31 million. Uh, and these deals, uh, which we lay out in the book, um, were carried out by a couple of individuals. Uh, one is a guy named Che Feng. Uh, Hunter Biden in the Hunter Biden emails refers to him as the super chairman. That's kind of his nickname for him. Uh, and he says in one email, I don't believe in the lottery anymore, but I believe in the super chairman. Now, who is Che Feng? He's kind of this sketchy uh, Chinese uh, businessman. His business partner at the time that he was striking deals with Hunter Biden, his business partner was the vice minister at the Ministry for State Security. Um, he was in charge of, among other things, recruiting foreign nationals to spy for China. He was the head of something called the Number 8 Bureau. Um, it doesn't get any higher than that. Uh, these are the sorts of individuals that were striking deals with Hunter Biden. Um, in this particular case, Che Feng happened, happened to help a $20 million deal be secured. Uh, another individual that helped arrange that deal uh, uh, is a guy named Mr. Zhao. Uh, Mr. Zhao helped with that $20 million deal. He also sent $5 million to Hunter Biden. Uh, and he sent that money from a very interesting business called Harvest Global. So you have Mr. Zhao sending $5 million. Who's his business partner, Mark? His business partner is the daughter of the former head of the Ministry of State Security. This is the guy who runs the entire spy apparatus for China. Um, again, it does not get any higher than that. So what this means, Mark, is that in total, the Biden family got $31 million. They performed no discernible legitimate business activities, as I can find, for that $31 million. And it all, every single deal, came from individuals tied at the highest levels to the Chinese intelligence apparatus. So there's no question in my mind that they were targeted by the Chinese. Uh, and for the life of me, Mark, this is unprecedented. I don't know of a time in American history where the American first family uh, has had this kind of a financial bond with a foreign intelligence service, particularly a foreign intelligence service that wants to uh, defeat the United States in global competition. You know, Peter Schweitzer, ironically, the emoluments clause that they used to talk about with Trump has as its purpose to prevent this sort of thing, where somebody who yes. becomes president or other people in the family are basically paid off or invested in, we'll use that phrase, by a foreign government. They had great fear about this sort of thing. And I cannot believe that $31 million, as you write, pours into the Biden family and Joe Biden doesn't know anything about it. He is the, uh, the, the, the head of the Biden clan. That's number one. Number two, they all live very well. Uh, number three, it is amazing how this Democrat Congress doesn't want any of the tax returns of any of the Biden family members. There's been no investigation of any of the Biden family members. He's the current president of the United States. Uh, when you consider how they've gone after Donald Trump with these, uh, with these fake issues. Joe Biden directly. How has he benefited from the communist Chinese? Well, it's a great question, Mark. Um, he directly benefited because the other uh, thing that we lay out in the book is it's very, very clear that Hunter Biden and Joe Biden have had intertwined finances uh, for a very long time. Uh, what, do I, what do I mean by intertwined finances? Well, you know, there are communications where Hunter Biden complains to other family members that he's having to send half his money to pop. Uh, which is his father. But there's also specific examples of him paying his father's bills. Uh, some of them are rudimentary. There's a $320 uh, a month uh, phone bill uh, for, for a 
a back channel phone that Joe Biden has when he's vice president of the United States. Hunter Biden's paying that. But there's also tens of thousands of dollars of other bills in terms of renovations on Biden family homes, uh, et cetera. So the bottom line is uh, money that Hunter Biden connected overseas directly fit benefited uh, not only Hunter Biden, but Joe Biden himself and other family members, including James Biden. Uh, there's a couple of million dollars of the Chinese money that ends up being uh, sent to James Biden. Um, one other point to make, Mark, which I think is very important and I think lays out the fact that this needs serious investigation, uh, not only by the FBI, uh, but also by Congress with subpoena power. Something very curious happens when Hunter Biden is securing these deals. There's five deals we've identified that are linked to Chinese intelligence. Hunter Biden goes to the Secret Service and says, I no longer want protection when I travel overseas. Uh, that is a stunning thing that needs to be looked into. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want records, I guess, where he's going and who he's talking to. Yeah, this is all something that just kind of floats around and the American media cover it up. Uh, they have enormous amount of resources if they wanted to investigate this. They can raise a lot of questions about it. Congress has subpoena power. Uh, the Department of Justice doesn't have to sit on its hands, and yet there it is, sitting on its hands. All the so-called institutions that are there to protect us from this sort of thing uh, seem to be uh, devoured and controlled by the wrong party in this country. So there's Joe Biden with these various connections. There's his family with these various connections. And all we keep hearing about is Donald Trump and his family. They've been investigated by Congress. They've been criminally investigated, which was an outrage. They're still under attack. And there's Joe Biden. $31 million came into this family. It's absolutely appalling. When we come back, Pelosi and Boehner and others on Capitol Hill. We'll be right back. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.